All right, this is going to be a real shorty here. Um, we're going to quickly modify our uh, our uh, string request here to send a post because you're you're out there and you're going to see this all the time where people are doing this and really it's um, not well documented on what's going on. So so what we're going to do here is that we're going to create a PHP script to receive this post and there, this is very simple, pretty much the same as what we saw before. Uh, except now we're going to receive a post request and then send back something. And then we're going to modify the string request to send the post uh, request. So if we go back to our Android here, um, we're going to make a few changes here. So we're going to do a, a little more housekeeping. And so what I'd like to do is uh, create a new method, which is going to just be addressing this post because we are going to have to change this code a little bit. So we'd like to reuse this method here, but it's going to have a few modifications. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this method. And I'm going to paste this method. And we're getting an error because that's the same name. And this is going to be a put. So we're going to change this a little bit. Put, post, excuse me, post, post string request. And... We are going to change a couple things here. This is going to be a post, so post. Okay, so uh, we got this set up to be a post, but we're not. How do we send any post variables with it? And that's where kind of the you got to go commando again. You're gonna if you go out if you've been out there searching, and you know you see all these code snippets from everybody trying to figure this out. Um, they append. Uh, they override the method, uh, they override one of the methods of the string request to get that uh, in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab that that code and I'm going to stick it in here. So hang on just a second. So I've gone off to my clipboard and I've got this, uh, this code we're going to paste in. And what this requires is a hash map and a map. So uh, don't get too excited about that. Just say, okay, it's going to put those strings in there. Um, it included our uh, class files and so what what this is, is just a way uh, of creating an array of variables that we're going to post over um, to this to this new script that we're going to create so what we have here what this does is it overrides the get params uh, method of the string request and it sends along um, these variables of our username and our password and the other thing is that um, now I went over here and actually I modified the page source. We modified this, so we're gonna we've got a script called receive post, and this is going to be a post method. And let's look back at our script. And so what this is gonna do is send the the request to this post method. And if we're looking out there and we say what happens, okay, it works fine. What we're doing this is, but what's interesting is you look at the URL. I mean, so we're not all now. We're not sending this as a query string. We're sending this as a uh, a post variable in the body. So what we're going to do is going to go back over here to our Android and simple login. And since and so we're not going to be sending any of these variables along. So we're going to take all this stuff right out of here. And we're going to have to put it in a quotation mark. And remember, we are not sending it to the get string request now. It is now a post string request. And we run our, let's just run our demo and let's see what happens here. If we're going to get a response back that is kapla. Hopefully it is. Tick tock, tick tock. There we go. Run it. Response. Nuke neck, which is actually kind of what we're expecting here because we're, oh, no, we're not expecting that. Why did that do that? Well, actually, the reason is that we go back over here and we're looking at, we're sending it to the get request. So actually, that's prop, that is the response that we should get if we were sending it to our receive a get PHP script. But as remember, we've changed this to receive post which is looking for post variables. So what this did is exactly what the old script, uh, what our previous script was doing. It said, oh, this is not a post request. It was a get. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that. 
quickly change that to wrong one. We gotta get the right one here. Bingo. Okay, so this is a receive post. Receive post, run our emulator, and hopefully we're back out there and we will get kapla! Success. And here we go. Kapla! Success. All right. So now we're sending post variables to our script. Now we can move on to sending JSON. All right. In the next video, Jason is coming.